Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to come your way again with another gist, which I believe you will surely enjoy. Thank you so much for taking time to be here. I sincerely appreciate it. You are the best. Guys, if you are here for the first time and you are yet to subscribe to the channel, Please consider subscribing to this channel. Press the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post new videos, okay? And also, try as much if it is possible to share this video. Alright, to all my amazing subscribers, I appreciate you for your love and support on this channel. Thank you very much, the new and the, the returning subscribers. Thank you for that amazing support and love on this channel i thank you watch the video to the end don't skip the adverts and also share the video if it is possible thank you very much for doing that for me i appreciate it all right women's super league asna women beat manchester city women 2-1 in the light of that, Asna handed Manchester City's unbeaten start to the Women's Super League season with a third successive victory. Excuse <coughs> me. It was substitute Tina Blastinos that scored a late winner at Middle Park, capitalizing on a mistake from 19 year old goalkeeper Kihara. Kitten after Cleo Kelly's equalizer uh, cancel out Steph Catley's opener. So it was a goalkeeper howler. Arsenal coach Jonas Erfa. They are starting to find their home, their form, and have given their title hopes a boost after a slow start to the season, which saw them lose to Liverpool. Before drawing with Manchester United, Manchester City had arrived in London in impeccable form, but after a bright start, found themselves trailing thanks to a superb opener from Catley, who struck an effort powerfully into the far corner after nice build up play from Arsenal players. And uh, as you have expected, that swung the momentum in Arsenal's favour. And they were rewarded and awarded a penalty. Minutes later, when Cleo Lacasse was brought down by young goalkeeper Curtin, but Kim Little Spot Kick was pushed onto the post by Curtin to keep City in contention. And they came close to an equalizer before half time when Lauren Hap. M's header hit the crossbar and was clear of the line by the defender. Amda Lester Manchester City came out with intent again after the break, and last season's top scorer Khadija Shaw remained a threat. She was on mark when she was set up by a calling cross from M but headed off the post from the close range. Well, the equalizer eventually arrived when Shaw teared up Kelly in the box and she struck a low effort past goalkeeper Manuela Simberger of Arsenal. The game remained in the balance in the final minutes, but Blastinos made the most of a long ball forward which was misjudged by Kitten and slaughtered in a crucial winner from that mistake by the goalkeeper. There was a lengthy delay afterwards as medical staff attended to an emergency in the stand before Arsenal win was confirmed, putting their campaign right back on track. So, with this victory, over Man City, Arsenal are now on track 
after they started the season, not too impressively. What is your opinion, guys, about the result of this match? Two big teams, Aston women and Manchester City women. It ended 2-1 in favor of Arsenal women. Congratulations to the winning team. Well, what is your opinion? What is your take about this? Let me know on the comment section. Anyway, if you have watched this video to this end, I say thank you so much for your love and your support. I sincerely appreciate it. If you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to this channel. Okay? And press the notification bell so that you'll be notified. Thank you so much. You know what, guys? If you can dream it, you can achieve it. Don't relegate yourself. Don't put down yourself. Know that you can do it. It is possible. For those that are making it, you can also make it. Until I come your way next time with another video, guys, I'd like to say to you, bye. Bye.